everyone, welcome back to this channel. This is an indeed random video given that I mostly do K-drama related content on this channel. But don't worry, this is productive, so we like productive people on this channel. Anyways, this is a very, very, very quick tutorial on Notion, specifically just this planner template setup that I made and I want to share with you all. So yeah, make sure to watch until the very end because I will show you how you can quickly duplicate this template if you're lazy or you're not very into coding. Honestly, Notion isn't that complicated. It's quite intuitive actually and if even if you don't have an experience with coding, I'm sure that you can pick up on it quite quickly. There are tons of resources available on the interweb, such as the Reddit community and other tutorials, blogs, whatnot. But I just want to quickly share my template with you all because it's what's been working for me. Okay, so let's get started. Planner setup with me.jb on Notion. Okay, so this is the planner template that I'm using currently. As you can see, it's a list view where you can have the year and then you can have the months and as the list items. So all the commands are, are available on Notion are these. I'm just quickly scrolling through them. A shortcut is just the forward slash sign and then this will all populate. Yeah, so these are all the different cool things that you can do on Notion. I'm going to use the list view inline version for this planner setup. Yep, that's the one and as you can see it will populate so that you have pages under a certain heading. Okay, now let's look at this planner template. So if you just click on this month template within the year template, you'll see that this is the page that loads up. This is already set up for um, September, I guess, because this video was filmed in September. And these are just fun widgets that I've embedded. You can check online, Google, you'll find these. Anyways, I haven't fixed the dates on here, so they should say August even though it's September when this video was filmed. But yeah, you can quickly just add another week by just clicking that button. And I will show you how you can set that button up. So yeah, delete that. And yeah, you see that settings toggle? Click on that and you can easily just add this, add a new week button. That's what I'm going to name it as. And then you can have, you can basically set up its following week. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this. I'm not very proficient in code. My background is not in CS or computer science. But yeah, that's what I do. And you can drag basically items to make multiple columns. But yeah, this is how you change the dates. I've finished changing up all the dates. Basically, that's how it works. And yeah, you have to do items in each and you can do whatever. You can change it to regular text or whatever. And again, these are just widgets. Um, there are tools available online where people have made these things. And if you're into coding, you can customize them yourselves. Now, to add a new month, it's quite easy. Go back to that main page. Duplicate that month template. You can easily rename this. Let's say it's September. Oh gosh, let me. Why is it not letting me? Okay. Control. Yes. Okay. September. So let's say we call this September. Now click into it. I like opening it as a page. And you can change the cover, background, and everything else. I'm not going to do the dates again because it's already done. But yeah, you can change the color of the text background. Let's say you want to do it for green. I'm not going to change it for every one of them right now. But yeah, let's say we want to change the icon. You can choose the emojis available. You can upload an image or you can link an image. So what I like to do is go on Jiffy. 
So you can use stickers on Jiffy. I like the transparent background, so that's what I like to do. And this creator has a lot of cute images. And let me find one that's kind of square because I really hate resizing GIFs. It's not fun. Let's say I like the smiley face, so I copy the link, go to the icon, and just link it. Submit, and voila! A cute smiley face. And if I really wanted to, I could change the cover. I don't feel like it right now. I kind of like the grid setup. But they have a lot of options available. You can upload your image as well, link again, or unsplash for stock images. And yeah, that's kind of a very quick intro to Notion, basically how you can customize the setup I already have made. If you want to use this setup, here is how you can duplicate it. So look in the description box for the link, and once you open that up, you can click duplicate, and you can just copy this database over to your Notion. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for those productive people out there who want to venture into digital planning. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications, thumbs up on this video, and if you have any more tips or comments, questions, leave them down in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye!